What's up, YouTube? It's another fine day in the life of carnivores. We're here with my buddy Brian, and we just spent the weekend going and picking up this Volkswagen Vanagon. It's got a little bit of maintenance and engine work that needs to be done to it, but he's got some big plans for this thing, and we might have a couple features of it about some of his progress. What all you got going on here, Brian? Well, we've got a little bit to do to it, I think. Might try to pull that den out. Might not. Seems like it adds character. Um, first thing is we got to get it running. I think it needs a fuel pump. Um, maybe injectors. Uh, it's been sitting for about a year, correct? Yeah, it's been sitting about a year, so we may need a little bit more than that. The first mod, we took the bumper sticker off. There's no vans that can complete without a bumper sticker. Um, then we gotta change these shocks because they're shot. Yeah, you wanna hold that? Yeah. There's some good things about this van too. It's really clean inside, it doesn't smell. Got some nasty window tint falling off. It has a really big it looks black like, widow. Yeah. There's a huge black widow that lives in there. Maybe it flew away on the ride, but I doubt it. I doubt it. Probably planning to kill us. But it does look like the previous owner took a lot of care of it. It looks like it's had a full tune-up kit put on it with new plug wires, new distributor tap, new coil. It has had the water-cooled system uh, redone in the last year, but so. We think the problem is with the ignition module and the fuel pump might be out. It's not getting any fuel. Um, there it is. There's that fucking thing. Where? It just crawled up under the metal. Oh. It was huge. Yeah. I hate that. Yeah, I do too. But other than that, it looks pretty clean under there. It doesn't leak too much oil, which surprised me, honestly. I think we should leave that open. Yeah, we'll just leave that open. That's fine. It's not going to get wet or anything. Like... Oh. Uh, you going to let the spider crawl up in? I want the spider to leave. Yeah, but if you leave it open, he's going to crawl and be in your couch cushion. Well, we're not going to. It's all up under the metal shit. Uh, I saw it. Where'd it go? Oof. I'm sure. It's got this other cool bumper sticker right here. It's not illegal to be on Piper. So. Get a stick. The doors roll really smoothly. Got, got any? Some, some goodies. Face mask. Well, that's good. Two of them. They're probably used. Yeah, I'd say so. Probably got the Rona on them. Probably Rona masks. Um, we can see it's had some parts put on it. Um, this was in here. That looks like the top of a battery tray. But it's a piece of wood. Yeah. Maybe they had it on top? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe that's what they used for their extra battery. Maybe. Set it right there. Mm -hmm. It's a possibility, huh? Possibly. Didn't think about that. Yeah. Um, just need to clean it up on the inside and uh, fine tune some things. We're gonna add something over there in that spot, like a shelf, table, um, something that folds up, gets out of the way. Yeah. You'd think there'd Something. be like a center row of seats as well. You could, I guess. But. That's the beauty of them. And you can, I'm going to put something in the middle of the seats, like a little center console. Um, I'd put a, a little sub in there. Upgrade the sound system so you can play some music. music while you're bebopping down the road. It needs some work. This thing's got some really nice headliner in it for... For its age, it's probably been redone at some point. So 
So one thing that you can do with these vans, it's pretty cool. I thought it was just on certain ones, but apparently it's on all of them. Is uh, it actually needs to be cleaned up and whatnot, but you can actually spin these seats around and hang out with everybody. That can be really handy if you're going to have a little card table or something when you go camping or yeah. road tripping. End up uh, re-upholstering the seats at some point soon. That's on the list once it's up and running. Um, figured out what to do with the back seat, whether we're going to leave it or take it out. I'd leave it. Doesn't it fold down to turn into a little cot? I don't know. Isn't that what this is? Isn't that what this big cushion is for? Well, that's what I thought, too. We need some hatch struts in a bad way. Yeah. To get a further inspection of the van again, we're going to do a couple simple fixes, such as we're going to get this battery charged so we can check and see and make sure all the, the lights and everything is electronics working such as maybe a fuel pump if it turns on then we know we don't have to order one or if it doesn't we might need a new one and then we're going to put some rear hatch struts in it so that way we can inspect the engine closely without having it fall on our noggins so just to see what everything's about It doesn't have any straps holding it down, so you might want to do something about that. It's got a lot of, it's got a lot of little wrap. That's what it looks like. But something Particle. under that seat for some reason. Oh, look, this ground strap doesn't go very far, so it'd be a pretty cheap one to get a new one of i wonder how we that's good so you just slide this back yeah it pops out so don't don't lose it you lost it it broke oh that's not good you can get those cheap oh, it, did. Yeah, it did it broke right in half oh. i knew that was going to happen yeah the new one will that come with that possibly it possibly will but you can get them for cheap Sheesh. holding it really small yeah compared to where it was at uh -huh. now you should be able to slide it right off it might need some persuasion it is old huh uh huh you think that's all that's holding it yeah just pop it real good with your wrist there we go so we'll go get a couple of these and See if it'll do any better. Chew what on are the brain. Chewing on little dog. We need that later. You can't chew on that. That little thing. What are you doing? 